Good morning, everyone. And um, looking still at Mishnah 8 in the first chapter of Ethics of the Fathers, when Yehuda ben Tabai says that a person should not make a judge, a lawyer, if you are performing as a lawyer, don't try and be a judge at the same time. That's the way in which we interpret it up until now. But there's another more sinister interpretation of this. Don't make yourself like those who arrange the judges. Uh, as you know, um, in, in a democratic system, uh, judges are supposed to be completely impartial and they should be appointed with impartiality as well. The reality is that throughout history and to this day in some systems such as America, uh, the appointment of judges are political. And as a consequence, the judge owes his position uh, to a, a somebody who has uh, assisted him to become to become a judge. And what Rabbi Yehuda ben Tabai is saying over here is that if you find yourself in that position, then don't allow that political influence influence your judgments. Don't be swayed by the favors that they've done for you, etc. Now, of course, there are umpteen examples of distorted systems of justice. To me, it's a matter of astonishment that in America, for example, the appointment to the Supreme Court is a political appointment, or at least the, the names which are put forward are political, and that you choose a Republican or Democrat, depending on who the, on who the, um, uh, the president is. You know, and there's always the suspicion that that is going to distort and affect the, the nature of the judgment. And Rabbi Yehuda ben Tabai is warning against this. And he recognizes that here is a significant danger to any system. Now, Robin will be able to tell us all kinds of stories, I'm sure, about, um, about this. In, in this country, we try to retain absolute impartiality without favor. At any rate, there is a story told, and I don't know if it's a true story, but it's a nice story nevertheless. A young rabbi was appointed the spiritual leader of a community which was headed at that time by Baron Rothschild. And the day after his appointment, Rothschild appeared before the rabbi in a lawsuit with a poor man. And Rothschild argues his case vehemently and he demands justice. And the rabbi hears the evidence and then he says, I know, sir, that you are president of the community. However, on the evidence that's being presented to me, I'm afraid that you are in the wrong, and I'm really sorry, but I have to decide against you. And the story goes that a broad smile covered the face of Baron Rothschild as he walked over to the scholar and he shook his hand. He said, yes, that's the kind of rabbi I want, he said. Rothschild went on to explain that the lawsuit, this Din Torah, was fictitious and was designed to test the impartial, impartiality and the independence uh, of the rabbi. Uh, that's what Rabbi Yehuda ben Tabai is getting at over here. He's looking for justice means that the judge is, uh, or not, is unaffected by the ones who arrange the law, or dan dinim, the one who sets up the person to be the, to be the judge. A nice, a nice concept.